Hey guys, today I am going to be showing you how to tan your own hides and just take you through the five to seven day process of tanning beaver hide. That's what I'm going to be doing, but this will work for raccoon, any other kind of hide. Um, fox is a little different from what I'm going to be doing here, but it's fairly simple for fox too, and I might do a video on that later. But Right now, I had a beaver pelt that I had dried. I had, well, obviously fleshed and then dried. And what the first process you need to do after you dried it is just take a bucket, five gallon bucket or whatever kind of bucket you want, just put clean water in it, nothing else, and put your beaver hide in that to get it freshened up. And because the next process after this, after it's freshened up, it may take like five minutes to freshen it up. We will be putting salt on it and rolling it up to get most of the fat and grease off of it. And then after we do the first salting process, we will um, roll it up and leave it for 24 hours. And I'll go through that process with you guys too. So we'll see how this goes. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so you just pulled, I just pulled my hide out of the water after it got soft enough to be flexible and able to put salt on it. The kind of salt you're going to want to use is non-iodized salt because if you use iodized the fur will slip and pull out and you really don't want that to happen because you want your fur to have the fur on it. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to put a pair of rubber gloves on. And then I am going to apply my um, salt to my fur. Well, to the flesh side, obviously. And I'll show you guys the process of that. You're going to want to put a lot of salt on this thing because some spots are a little greasier and fattier. And then after you salt it, I'll show you what to do after that. But let's get into it. I'm going to apply a lot of salt all around. And after I apply most of it, I'll rub some in and add some more salt. This tanning process is going to take a lot of salt. So... I advise you buy quite a bit of salt if you're going to plan on tanning. And the tanning solution we're going to be using is the um, Trappers and Hunters Hide Tanning Formula. So I'm going to add, looks about good, but I'm going to add a little bit more. So now that you have your salt on your hide, you're just going to want to rub it into the hide very a lot lot into the hide just keep rubbing it and rubbing it into the hide just keep doing that until you feel like it every corner has salt on it and then after that I'll show you what to do Okay guys, so now that you have all your salt on and rubbed all in and everything, now next step is you're going to want to go like this, I'm gonna fold it. My hair is still wet from being in the, um, the bucket, that's fine, it's not going to hurt it. You can wipe some of the water off if you want to, it's not really going to hurt it. I'll probably wipe some off and clean up this mess in a little bit. But now after you did that, you're going to fold it flesh on flesh. You don't want to do fur on fur. You want to do flesh on flesh. Then you're just going to try go like this if it's soft enough. And roll your fur in. And mine is a little, like the back is a little stiff still. Probably could have used a couple more minutes in the water. But it's fine. It's not going to hurt anything. After you get it rolled up, you can just just go like go like that to get most of the water off of it. And all you do is just set it like that. 
You can set something on top of it so it stays rolled up if you want to. I'll probably do that just a little bit. But just leave that for 24 hours just like that. And then I'll come right back to you guys and show you what you do after that. Stay tuned. Okay guys, now it's been 24 hours since we had let it sit and I just unraveled it and what you're going to want to do is you're going to probably want to go outside and take it and what you're going to do is you're going to see all this old salt. You're going to want to scrape all the salt off the hide and everything. Then I'll show you what to do after you do that. I'm just using an old lid from something and you're just going to want to scrape all the salt you can off the hide get all the salt from around the all the legs and everything from off the hide and then we'll probably go into a time lapse right about now Okay guys, so once you have all your salt off your hide and everything, you can see that there's some stuff kind of peeling off that you probably missed when you're flushing. But your salt's all off. Now what you're going to want to do is do that same process. You're going to re-salt it. You're going to put some more salt on it. Make sure to cover the whole thing in salt. And then roll it up and leave it for 24 hours. And then scrape it all off again and then I'll show you the next process after that stay tuned okay guys so after that last 24 hour period that's the last 24 hour period that you have to do for salting your hides and the next part that you're gonna need to do is after you salt it then you're gonna want to scrape all the salt off again then you're gonna want to um, get non iodized salt just like you did for salting the hide but you're going to want to make a salt bath for it so basically you're going to want half a pound of salt for every gallon of hot water that you do because you want the salt to dissolve so I did six gallons I think and I'm not very good at math so I'm probably not even going to try and estimate how much salt I put in there I just put the right amount so I'll turn the camera around right now. It's not completely dissolved yet, but it'll it'll dissolve. It's it's pretty it's pretty good. It doesn't need to be completely dissolved. I mean it's it's fine. And then I'll show you right here. I'm gonna put the tripod up a little bit. And back behind my salt container so I can show you what I'm doing. <clears throat> so once you let your water cool, um, this is what you should do with your beaver hide or whatever kind of hide you're tanning. You should put it in your water. You can do... Um, First side down, first side up, whichever you want. It doesn't really matter. And then I just put some, like this is an empty coffee container with some rocks in it. That is a glass bottle with a whole bunch of water in it, so it's heavy. And then here's a bucket with some water in it. It just helps it weigh it down so it stays underneath the water all night. Because if it doesn't stay underneath the water, then it will be unevenly... Um, under the water and you don't really want that because it just doesn't get evenly under the water so that's what you do after the water cools and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning when I come get it out of the water see you then okay guys so after your six to eight hour time period of your salt water bath for your hide you're gonna want to take your hide out and wring out as much water as possible. You don't have to get it completely dry, just wring out as much water as possible from the hide. And then you're gonna wanna dump your bucket of salt water out and 
fill that same bucket back up with regular fresh water and then the next step after you fill it with fresh water is you're going to want to um, set this back a little bit turn it there you're gonna want to wash your hide in Dawn dish soap so you're just gonna set your hide right in it's fresh clean water no salt in it this is gonna help wash your hair and it's gonna help just clean the um, skin so got my Dawn dish soap got pull it up probably that much right there just rub it on your hide you can probably add more Dawn dish soap if you feel like it I will in just a second just basically rub the whole hide with Dawn dish soap and then flip it over and get Dawn dish soap on the fur too and then I'll show you what to do after you do that Set that there on the edge. So now once you're done with the flesh side, you're going to flip it over, do the hair side. I'm going to set this up here so I can wash it. Put some Dawn dish soap on that. Just going to scrub it right into the fur. That'll help get any dirt out of the fur any disgusting smelling stuff it'll just help make the fur really clean I'm going to flip side over here okay Wash it around in the thing. Kind of get some of the suds off. Drain it. Here, I'm going to tip the camera up so you can see what I'm doing. Just go like this. Just draining the hide, all its water. Okay, it's almost good. Almost. Still quite a bit of water in it, so I'm gonna keep doing that. Then I think after this. What you're gonna want to do, I'm gonna set it back in this bucket because it's dry. It's um got a lot. 
Okay guys, so once you're done taking it out and washing it and everything, you're going to want to rinse all the suds off and get all the soap off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hose, turn it on, I'm going to grab my hide out of the bucket and I put it in. I'm just going to rinse it down. I'll get you guys a good view of this because just go like that. Rinse all the suds out of it and everything. Get all the soap out. Get on the inside too. Get all the soap off this side. Just keep washing it. After that, just set that down. Turn it off. And then after that, you can just take your hide. There might be a still a little soap left in it. It's not going to hurt it. Just going to want to wring it out. Get the water off. Keep wringing out. You don't want to get the majority of the water out. Keep wringing it until you're completely dry or semi dry. There. Should be good. I'm just good. Give mine a little shake. Helps clear some of the water out. And then we're gonna go inside. The next process that we need to do is we're gonna take a knife and with that salt bath it helped like loosen up some of the skin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and scrape some of that skin off with a knife. Okay guys, we're back inside. We have our sharp knife so we can get the rest of like any remaining membrane or anything that we left on the hide it will be all loosened up so we can take it off now so I'm gonna point the camera down so you can see what I'm gonna be doing just look for membrane like that just go like that take it off I'm just gonna set it on the cardboard for now and just go through take all the membrane you can see off it's just going to help with the tanning process it's going to make it a lot easier and then we'll go into a time lapse and we'll see you when I'm done okay guys I didn't do too much I didn't take too much off this because honestly it's not that big of a deal it's only it's not going to be a perfect hide because nothing's perfect but I got all that I could off and now we're gonna what, what we're gonna want to do is I have a just a regular hanger here and you can either go through the nose hole the eye hole or the ear hole. I think I'm going to go through. The nose was really thick, so I'm just going to go through the nose. I'm going to go through. I'm going to try and go through one hole in the nose and come out the other one. There we go. Now, just go like that. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a spot you're just going to want to let this hang and dry just let it dry out let the fur dry out on the back let this side dry out just a little bit and then just long enough to let it drain out maybe get a little more of the water off we'll be back I'll probably leave it till tonight or I'll leave it till tomorrow morning but doesn't really matter how long you let it drain 
but we'll see you guys when it's done draining. Okay guys, so I let mine sit overnight and drip dry and I just took it down from hanging up and I'm going to show you what you're going to do after you take it down. This is what I do and this is not what everybody else does. So after it's still a little moist, you're supposed to have it moist on the skin side but these parts right here and on the edges dried a little bit. So what you do is you take regular clear water, you have a paintbrush and you just apply some water onto those dry spots to loosen them up and you can go like that and pull on it if you want to just kind of stretch it and it should loosen up pretty well I've already done these ones over here they're loosened up I just left that one so I can show you guys now after you've done that you have your trappers hide tanning formula right here and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to warm this up so what I did is I took just a small little pail like this, put warm tap water in it, and then you just set it in there for 30 minutes and let it warm up. I already did that, so what I'm gonna do now is this is a clean bucket right here. This one's clean, so I'm gonna go like this and pour some of my high tanning formula in there. I'm gonna give it a shake too. That's fine. Put a little bit in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the same paintbrush that I use the water with. I'm going to get quite a bit on there. Then I'm just going to apply it onto the hide. You're going to want to put a lot on. Make sure you cover every inch, every corner and side, all along the whole, whole flesh side. Just cover all around the feet. The ears, the eyes, and the nose, you're going to want to cover all that. I'm going to pull this this way a little bit so you guys can see the full hide. And then I'll get to it. Okay guys, so once you um, apply all the hide tanning formula you need to your fur, what you're going to want to do, well, to your flesh side, you're going to want to flip it like this, right onto itself, fold it flesh side to flesh side, and you're going to want to leave it sit for 12 to 16 hours. Right now it's 11 a.m., so I'm going to leave this to 11 p.m. So that will be somewhere around 12 to 13 hours. So that will be good for this. Then I will we'll show you later tonight when I come and do the next process. I'll show you how to do the next process later tonight. Okay guys, so it's been 12 hours now since I um, just wrapped that up. So I just took it and what I did here is I just put two nails there and then I have it holding up by the eyes there just so this is wide open everything so it can dry and what you're going to want to do as is it as it's drying is you're going to want to every day come out and pull and stretch on it while it's drying just to give it some extra width and it's going to help with the drying process and the tanning process also. So right now it's still a little wet. Tomorrow I'll come out and go and pull on it. And then I will check in in a couple days when it is done fully drying. And then I can show you guys some simple methods of making it softer, a softer tan after it's done. So... I'll be back in about two days once it's done drying. So, see you guys then. Okay, guys. So, this is the last process that you're going to have to do with your um, hide. Right now, I did part of it just to kind of get it going. 
and then I'm going to show you how to do it. Right now this is the softening process. You can see mine is actually pretty soft. The back, if you're doing beaver, the back is going to be very stiff and very hard to soften. The edges, not so much. They'll be super loose and everything. They'll, they'll be really loose. But here's a couple methods of softening it. You can, if it's really, really stiff in the beginning, you can get a piece of rebar. And this is a trap stake I have. It's rebar. And you can see I've actually worn it down a little bit because I've been rubbing to get this softer. But basically what you do is you just grab it and rub and this didn't used to be white this used to be this colored right here and this kind of colored right here and it's just a darker color but once you start rubbing and making it softer it'll get this whitish color so this spot right here that needs to dry a little bit more i'll get a view of that that is still a little bit wet, still has some tanning formula on it, but I'm just going to leave that and I'll rub that once it um, dries. But right now, since this whole other part and everything is dry, what you're basically going to do is just rub down the whole thing. I'll get this out of the way so you can see. You're just going to rub the whole thing down with that. And if you want to use a different method, this method, you got to get a little more, more elbow grease into it. But you just get a piece of rough sandpaper and you just go like this. That piece already is broken. And you just rub with the sandpaper. And it softens it up pretty well too. I'm going to get this edge. The sandpaper is not the best sandpaper. The sandpaper is going to rip on you a lot if you do if you do the sandpaper method. So you're just going to rub and rub and rub until it all gets soft. Or you could do another method, which even takes more elbow grease than the sandpaper method, and it's not my favorite method. But we'll grab this, tilt the tripod up, and we'll walk over here. Okay guys, so for the last method of um, loosening your hide and making it soft is you get a rope, you tie it between two trees. This one, it could be tighter, but I have it pretty loose right now. I think it's a little easier when it's loose. But you just put your hide over it like this. Have your hide side on the rope. You just go back and forth, and it really helps soften it, and it helps get the back really soft too. So you can do that over and over again until you get the design, the um, best softness for your hide, and that's basically it. This fur is actually a quite a good fur. I'm probably gonna make a pair of gloves out of it once I'm done and it's not ideal for um, making a wall hanger up because it's not that big but make a good, good pair of mittens so on this side of the screen is going to be my subscriber element and over here are going to be my two favorite um, video lists see you guys later